Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone's well. Taurus, looks like you're next in line. Right on. All right. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with a message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can, and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross -watcher. And our dear friends, the cross -watchers are always welcome here at the Firesign Tarot Table. Everyone's always welcome. And I appreciate you coming by to say hello to little old me. While you're here, if you think, you know, we vibe pretty well and you like what you see and you want to see more, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell if you're new. Hit the like button if you like what you see for sure. You know, it all helps the channel and is all greatly appreciated. All right. Taurus, before we throw your cards down for September, there's a couple things we got to go over. So, um, one, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And by life-altering, I mean if you're going to pretty much lose everything that you've worked for, if you make the wrong decision, don't trust a deck of cards with your destiny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you're more than welcome to use it as guidance, but ultimately you are responsible for your own free will and you are responsible for your choices. So if you choose to trust a deck of cards, that's on you. It is not on the reader. So it's a matter of liability. Just throwing that out there. Two, if it is not your reading, if it is not your story, if it is not your message within the cards, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't make something fit that does not fit. You can take what resonates, but leave what does not. Don't buy the shoes and take them home if you're never going to wear them. Know what I'm saying? Or if they don't fit. Or they don't look good with anything you own. Okay? All right, Taurus, one more shuffle. Heavenly Father, Mother, the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for, for September 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me again today. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me clearly and accurately bring Taurus to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path for September 2021. Taurus, why are you here? The world reversed. Either there is unfinished business with something, or you are fighting an ending. We'll get clarity. You could not want something to end, fighting the end, or there's unfinished business to deal with. Okay. Six of Pentacles in the past, equal give and take, equal reciprocation. Could be dealing with an earth sign could be dealing with any sign as far as that goes with the world card here very open-ended presently queen of cups you will hold a great deal of emotion for this person you love them very deeply justice reversed in the immediate future mm. something is not fair Something flipped. Something going to flip. Outcome. Two of Pentacles. Change. Choices. Hmm. All right, Taurus, let's get the energy. Oh, gosh. water oh wait nope <laughs> the knight of pentacles flipped out it saying no <laughs> no your other major is an air sign you need to take air okay fine okay we'll do air 
Um, the, I believe this is the Everyday Witch, I believe. It's the card I typically use for my air sign readings, either way, so. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have in regards to the person or situation that Taurus is dealing with. Nine of Wands reversed. Somebody throw in the towel? Five of Wands, conflict. Currently in a state of conflict. Knight of Wands reversed. No action. No action being taken, no messages. Knight of Cups upright. These are two different people. There's something new coming in. Possibly a water sign. You have something new coming in. These are two different people. Somebody's going to make an exit and somebody's going to make an entrance in the future. Hmm. Okay. Let's get clarity. Universe Source Spirit Guides, can I get clarity? The cards on the table for Taurus, please. Taurus and the person or situation Taurus is dealing with for September 2021. Oh, wow. What did we have going on here? I stopped for a second. This is slightly embarrassing. I was wondering why that deck was so damn tall. You know what, just for kicks. They're meant to be there. No, they're really not. They're really not. These have something to do with the advice. Taurus, I feel like this might be part of your message, so I'll share these now. Hereford reverse, Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords. Break up of a marriage. Break up of a marriage. Possibly. Something, something causing a great deal of anxiety and forcing you to go into your Queen of Swords and having an honest conversation with someone. Or vice versa, someone having an honest conversation with you. This is the breakdown of a blessed union that's going to cause a great deal of anxiety. I'm going to lay these up here. Everything happens for a reason. We will address these at the end because I feel like this is your advice. Or part of it. Alright. Try that again! Everything happens for a reason. Even if it's just me being a dumbass. <laughs> Not to... <laughs> Not sorting my cards out properly before I started another reading. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Full reverse seven of wands.
lack of trust and internal struggles, internal battles. One more. Seven of Cups confusion. There may have been some confusion in the past to who was giving what to a relationship. Lack of trust. Why the Seven of Wands? Resurrection or an attempt at resurrection. Judgment calls being made possibly had something to do with a moon cycle or an eclipse. May have happened around the time of an eclipse. This was, this was an event. This was a game changing event that caused an internal struggle in someone in regards to an equal give and take situation. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Hermit. You walk in the walk. You walk in the walk. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with. It is Virgo season. It could just be discussing the season that we're in currently. But I feel like this is like, you're walking the path trying to find the light. You love this person. Nine of Cups reverse Two of Cups. But you're unfulfilled. And there possibly might be something new. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, why is justice reversed here? Pentacles, you don't want to let go of this in the immediate future. Hanged man. Page of wands reversed. Oh gosh. Page of wands reversed. Knight of wands reversed. No speaking, no messages, not wanting to let go. Something isn't going to be fair. Something's going to be very unjust. The scales are going to be very unbalanced. There's going to be hang-ups. Seeing things from the other person's perspective, Emperor, could be an Aries you're dealing with. That's the Father card. Why Emperor? Eight of Cups walking away. Either you're walking away or someone's walking away. Someone may be walking away from their empire. You're walking away from the empire. Somebody doesn't want to let you go. You don't want to let somebody go. Somebody's walking away. Somebody's walking away. We'll address these in a minute. Nine 
note. Somebody's walking toward a two of cups. Somebody's walking toward something new. When you're walking away from something, you're walking toward something else. Just throwing that out there. Someone could be walking toward a, a, a new situation. And the other person doesn't want them, doesn't want to let go. Holy Moses. Okay. 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 Why is the Nine of Wands reversed here? Hi. King of Swords, Six of Swords reversed. Split story. Either someone had their walls up, was extremely guarded, possibly threw in the towel and walked away for a little bit, but returned to a situation, but returned very guarded, guarding their emotions. Someone was guarding their emotions. Someone was using logic, had thrown in the towel at one point and then returned. So it was like a almost ending. But they came back. Could be an air sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I mean, I got the world card first card out. This could be any sign, literally. Logical, guarded, doesn't show a whole hell of a lot of emotion. Doesn't express emotion. But it was a return. Crossed back over some extremely choppy waters. One more. Hi. Star came out reversed. Possibly tried to come back to heal a situation and it didn't quite happen. Six of Pentacles. Currently, five of wands. Why the five of wands? Wow, it's so confrontational. Wow, it's so confrontational. Eight of pentacles could have something to do with work, putting work into a situation. Eight of swords reverse. King of Pen Wow, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. This is work-related. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here? Ace of Cups reversed. Someone is extremely work focused. Somebody is the provider. It is what it is. <laughs> and they're just like, you know what? I love you and I'm sorry if that spills your cup, but it is what it is. And they are not, you know... It's not like they're consumed by work, but it's just very matter of fact. I'm sorry if it spills your cup that I have to work. But it causes controversy and it causes confrontation in this connection. They have to be the provider. I feel like I need to put one more on that. Ten of Pentacles reversed. How ironic. 
How ironic. Someone someone working too much causing instability in the home and confrontation. Strange. I'm not going to throw another card on that. I'm not throwing another card on that. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? The moon could have something to do with the moon. Someone could be in a state of not knowing. Two of Wands, where'd it go? Three of Swords reversed. This fell before this flipped. Justice. Justice upright. <sighs> Shoot. Fucking soap opera shit. Okay. Okay. Betty, bad news. There's secrets. There's things not being said. There's things not being illuminated in the future. But I see a stop to something and a stop to forward movement and someone walking away. They don't want to break your heart. I'm going to clarify that three of swords are versed. But I see a letting go of the past and a moving toward the future. And I see the mighty sword of justice cutting something out so scales can be rebalanced. Why is the Three of Swords reversed here? Seven of Swords. They're secrets. Secrets. They are hiding something and they don't want to break your heart. So they don't want to communicate it. Sun reverse. This is going to be the disconnect of a soulmate union. This is going to lead to a disconnect. Hereford reversed. Holy Moses. Holy Moses. Okay, well, dance a change. Mm -hmm. person you're dealing with is flying off somewhere else. That just hit me. They're walking away. Dropping cards. They're walking away to fly towards something else in the same direction. Meanwhile, you're in two of pentacles, so things are about to change for you. I mean, you could have something coming in as well. Because I definitely see you walking towards something, if this is indeed you. Flip-flop the rolls anywhere you need to. You're walking away towards something new yourself. Hate being Betty Bad News. My God. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Four of Swords reversed. Restless energy. Nine of Swords. Anxiety.
Three of Pentacles. Second three, third three. How many threes do I have on the board? At least two. I've lost count. At least two. Rebuilding of foundations. A coming together. Two of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. That is the beginnings of building a new stable foundation. It's allowing change to come. It's gonna be anxiety, it's gonna be anxious, and you're gonna be restless. But ultimately you go into Queen of Swords mode and cut the bullshit out of your life. And trust the path and trust the process. Strength. You find the inner strength. You find the inner strength to become that Queen of Swords and say, you know what, enough's enough. You wanna go, go. You walk that way, I'll walk this way. You're walking in opposite directions. Four of Wands reversed. It's my minor arcana tower. You're letting the tower fall. Why is the Knight of Cups here for the person you're dealing with? Why the Knight of Cups? The world. Closing a new, closing an old chapter. Starting a new one. Allowing something to come to an end. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Page of Cups reversed. Stagnation. The cup is spilled. Okay. Well, hold up. Five of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Queen of Swords reversed. All right, we're gonna address what was in the deck. Oh, wow. Okay. Make a head over heart decision to release this burden. Eventually you will rebuild your own tower where you want it built, how you want it built, and steady foundations will come. And the choice is yours, lovers, empress reversed, seven of swords reversed. Something that is not going to grow versus something that comes to you from a place of honesty. Whoever you are dealing with is hiding things from you. There are secrets. I feel like some secrets may come illuminated in time. But you must maintain a positive attitude and try to see things from all perspectives. And make a judgment call.
King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords reversed. Wow. Six of Wands reversed. Let them go. Let them go. There's bigger and better things coming for you, Taurus. There is. I think this is you needing to come into your own. Yes, you're going to miss this person. Five of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Ten of Wands, Two of Swords reversed. And it was an impossible decision to release this burden. Holy smokes. Oh my god. Taurus, I don't know what kind of soap opera shit this is, but it was for somebody, I guess. Waiting's only going to make you restless. And you got an Ace of Cups coming. You have a new start coming. But you have to let go. You have to let go. And go toward the world before you. And disconnect from this toxic crap. And achieve your victory. And find calmness. And accept the death cycle. Because the longer you put off this painful cycle, the worse it's going to get. Okay. Taurus, I love you. <laughs> have a wonderful September. It doesn't have to play out the way the cards say it's going to play out. It never does. <sighs> okay. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. I need to, like take a break. So I will catch you guys next time.